morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Got some water wheels set up. Just, you guys need to see that on camera. It's fine. Um, I've got a drill that I'm going to need to rotate. Perfect. Do I want to, I think I want to bring it on from the, eh. Yeah, I'll do it on the top. Perfect. We've got a fan that we're going to want to have blowing nice and fast. We've got some spruce with which we can use to craft a crafting table. Uh, we're going to need... Oh, uh, sure. Four chests will be fine. So it's going to blow out this way. Uh, ooh, we need to lower this by one more. Which might be a problem because there's bedrock. You know what? No. It's not a problem. I'll tell you why. We're going to make a hopper. Hopper will be fine. I made some shoots, but I don't need shoots. All right. So now we just need to power these boys. Uh, and we're going to want them to be going moderately fast. Which does mean I'm going to need more space than is available right now. Clear out some space. Mm. And then another small cog wheel down there. Clear out some space over here. Put a shaft down. Put another shaft right here. Did I not take any belts with me? I might not have taken any belts. Uh yeah, we're gonna we're definitely gonna need belts. So I'll be back in a moment. It occurs to me I could have just put that thing further back, but where's the fun in that? Alright, so... There's my fast boy. Do I want to push him one more forward? No, I do not. And I'll tell you why. If I put you there, you there, and you there, I need two more, not two more, I need a decent more shaft, and then grab, belt you to you, you to you, then all we should need there is a vertical gearbox. See guys, I'm learning, I'm learning. Oh, that sucks. That does not blow. That sucks. Okay, yeah, you turn off for the moment. So let's turn it all off for a moment and just redirect it straight from the source. And the funny thing is, I actually still have more water wheels. I didn't even use all of them. I didn't even notice that before now. So, you go there, you go there, we're 
getting it. Alright, there's four. That should be all I need. So then... Hmm... We might want another andesite funnel, which I did not prep for. Uh... No, you know what? I sh I should get another inside funnel. Uh, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do before I do that. That'll probably be a a later thing. So you go out. Okay, stop that for the moment. Then we're gonna want a belt. Hmm. Can I feed you up? I think I can. Oh no, not regular cobblestone. Regular cobblestone doesn't go in here. So if I put you there, and you there, well that is a powerful sand. I'm gonna seal off its influence for a moment. And then I put some spruce drawers. Let's see. I want you not there, but there, there, there. I should carry an axe on me, but I don't. And there, give each of them funnel feeding in, in, and in. Then, hmm. I think I'm gonna need more gearboxes. You there. You there. You there. I think I'm going to need a lot more gearboxes, so I'm just going to make a decent chunk. And what was that? I, I've seen that before. Why was I that surprised? Break into this wall. And would a shaft work? No, I'm gonna need to gearbox you. Yeah. Oh. So as you can see, that just got sucked right up into there, but that's not what I want. Hey, hey, hey! Now, it only do one item at a time, so it's slow. But I don't think the drill's that fast either. So let's run upstairs. Uh, I really should have checked chunk boundaries. But let's run upstairs. Uh, grab our key. Grab another andesite funnel. Grab all the stuff we're going to need. And uh, empty my backpack, too, while I'm at it. So we're going to want... Unsa. What are you? Kinetic mechanism? I should probably just have you on there. Alright. Make me a hecton. A metric hecton. One of which I will turn into an andesite funnel. Well, four andesite funnels. And we can obviously put void upgrades on these. Um, I don't know if that's needed right at this moment. 
I should probably do it just in case. Man, they just go flying off there. There we go. We got close to a stack already. Function F3G. Oh. Okay, so this chunk I will need... This exact chunk I'm in, I will need this chunk... Gosh dang this. I was not good with my chunks in this one. How many chunks do I have? Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to make my chunks more efficient at some point. I'm glad I'm immune to fire. I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. Uh, so let's stick. Nope. Come on, disappear, you water. Yeah, it'll be fine. All right. So, we aren't that far into the episode, and we've got... Andesite Cobblestone Automated. So let's go ahead, check that off. We're going to want to get it up here somehow. Oh, and that's... That's more efficient. Mm, I should set up a mixer dedicated to that. Like, that's... No, no doubt about that. I mean, it's, it's not like... It's particularly, quote-unquote, expensive... Because uh, I've got all the stuff automated, but you know what? I might, I might not even bother. I should bother, especially because that's automated crafting. All right. So how did I get this set up? Yeah, that's not complicated. Hmm. Hmm. Question is where to set it up? Because. I, I'm not going to do it this episode, but I do think it might be time to move and, like, and design a more in intelligently made base. Because currently, as you can see, this is a flip flapping mess. I don't, I don't think I'd want to move that far, just because you know I've I've got a decent amount of stuff here, but I do think it's. It's, it's moving down. So, not quite sure how long this episode is, because it's split up into a couple of chunks. So let's... Well, we got some time. Let's... I think we got time, at least. I don't know for sure. But let's just, uh... A little bit of obsidian. Do I have any paper anywhere? Ooh. Can I... Yeah. 
Give me money. Yay! I asked for money and I got it! <laughs> I like that. I actually like that a lot. I mean, that, that's a one-off quest, of course, but it's, it's funny. And then we're gonna need some paper. Ooh, you know what I should use for fuel? I should use, uh, not, not peppers, uh, dried cup. Let's smoke up nine stacks of it. Scooby doop, boop, doop. Give me nine stacks of smoked dried kelp thing. Uh, and then I just need a leather or some straw. Perfect. Oh, you, I always forget. You need you need the big honkin. The the, the all the all the table, all the bookshelves around it. Like, yeah, see. Well, I did just double my storage for not all that much experience. But that's all I'm going to do for the moment. I'm not going to do that much more with it. Alright. What I will do is transfer the charcoal up to here. Grab my nine stacks of dried kelp. And some potatoes. Potatoes are good for your health. Yeah, yeah, new recipes. I don't really care. And I'm going to check to see if the phantoms have awoken yet. So let's see. Have I been awake long enough? Where did you come from? Above? I don't like that. I don't like flying zombies. So that is basically what Phantom does. Why did he have so much health? How are you doing? Six times six. Whoa! You're a full boy. You're filling up. Dude. Now, yeah, again, like, this is kind of stuff we want to automate eventually 100%. But it's going so well right now. I've got so much stuff. That's right. Weave and bob and dodge. Bob? Bob. He's coming to him. Wasn't there a creeper here? I was sworn there was a creeper here. Alright, doesn't look like I've been. Oh, there are phantoms. There are the phantoms. And both of my sword and my hammer have walked. So I'm not concerned about uh, missing out on loot by using the hammer. The hammer is probably more important to make luckier because it's both a weapon and a mining tool. All right, keep an eye on the sky. Keep your eye on the birdie. Gotcha. 
Oh, they're durable. Three phantom membrane. Not bad for three phantoms. That was reckless, but it worked. So I'm going to call that a victory. I'm also going to call this just about wrapping up point. So let me kill a booby. And I will see you guys next time.